Hey gang, Jack Lair here. I uh, just wanted to let you know that, uh, first of all, warn you, I've been uh, imbibing a bit. And uh, came across a realization. And there are two things that led to this realization. And the realization is that I am a jinx. If you ever, ever want to have a beta for a video game, don't invite me in it. Why do I say that? Every beta that I have ever been in, the video game has closed down. Every beta I have not been in, that game has actually continued on to have a fairly decent life. Now, this came about because I, uh, two things happened. One, a game that I had a uh, uh, beta for and then decided to pick up the collector's edition off of Amazon because it was seven bucks is Tabula Rasa. I loved this game. This game I was so looking forward to playing. Got a copy, played it for a little while. This is a giant paperweight. It's got some cool stuff in it. I can look at it. Can't do anything with it. The other thing is the news that I read today is that one of the games that I beta tested ages and ages and ages ago I request online adventures closing down to Earth and Beyond, Asheron's Call, Shadowbane I can go on they all close down and there's nothing that we can do about it so because companies no longer decide to support the product that they originally sold us warning us well in advance that this is going to happen. Rather than licensing the software, releasing the servers, renting, having people pay for the servers, which some people would be willing to do. Imagine this. Imagine... Imagine a world where for... Let's say... I don't know... 300 bucks. 300 bucks you can buy the server software to run World of Warcraft. EverQuest. Sounds interesting, right? Now that means that uh, Blizzard and those guys wouldn't make money, so they'd never do it. But, these games that have been cancelled, the server code is there. It's done. The, the, they know how to do the payment things, they know how to do everything, and they're just not willing to do it. And there's no one company that's guilty of this. By the way, I also beta tested Star Wars Galaxies. Sorry for all those of you who like that. I also beta tested uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. So if that one goes belly up, sorry again. And then again, I really didn't like that game to begin with. So it's about with lightsabers, folks. Anyways. But I don't understand why they won't just let us have the servers. Say, alright, fine, you bought the game, you want to host this stupid thing? Have at it. Asheron's Call 2, gone. Tabula Rasa. Sony, now, agreeably, Sony keeps their things around for a good long time. But still, turning off the server without letting people try and run it on their own, or open sourcing it, or something, just seems wrong. Why create this... it's... it's... I'm... I'm angry. It's like somebody taking the Mona Lisa and just saying, no, nope, no, nope. we don't want to keep it anymore, we don't want it to maintain, the upkeep, the security, it's all too tough. What are you gonna do with it? We're just gonna throw it in the bin. Wait, what? Video games aren't the Mona Lisa. But, a lot of people worked on them. A lot of people put their heart and soul into them. A lot of people really wanted those to be the greatest games ever. And for some of us, they were. Now because these are businesses, they have to make business decisions. As much as they hate it, as much as we hate it. But, it has to be done. But the smart business decision would be to say, you know what, we know you've bought our game. 
we knew you gave us $15 a month while we were open. Now, you know what? We don't want to do this anymore. But, but, you give us $50, we'll give you the server code. For $100, we'll give you the server code. There would be enough people out there that would buy the server code just to run the servers. Why they don't do that? Because I'm a jinx. So remember the next time you complain that, oh, it's got a patch, or oh no, my thing has to update. Boo hoo. At least you can still play the game that you love. So until next time, play on.